We are going to show you how to replace or repair the keyboard mechanism for the HP or Compact keyboards. What you will receive is a rubber spring cup and the key parts. Depending on the purchase, you may or may not have the keycap included in your order. If you do, the clip must be removed from the back of the key before the parts can be assembled onto the keyboard. Here are the parts attached to the back of the key. You'll need to use a small tool, such as a screwdriver, to remove the parts. What you're going to want to do is get underneath the key with the small tool and gently pry the clip from the back of the key, as shown. Moving on, we're going to show you how to assemble the clip onto the keyboard base. What you want to do first is observe the clip. You'll see that it's in two pieces. Here's the outer piece squared outside of the inner piece. The inner part of the clip has these two rectangle cutouts here. Now you're going to see how the clip on the inner part tapers down on both edges. This taper part will lead down to a little plastic bar which will go underneath this piece of metal here. So these two upper left and right squares are going to be aligned with these two pieces of metal here and a taper part is going to taper down to point towards this piece. That's how you'll know it's rotated correctly. Now to make sure that the clip is flipped correctly we'll show you the incorrect way. You see the inner part of the clip sits underneath these tabs belonging to the outer part of the clip. Those need to be facing towards the keyboard. So we're just going to flip it around back to its correct position. Now that you've oriented the clip correctly, we're going to put it onto the keyboard base. We're going to start by sliding this metal bar underneath here. Show a little better here. So this metal bar right here is going to slide underneath this piece of metal here. Like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to snap down the left and the right parts of the clip on top of these metal pieces up here. You might want to push the bottom of the clip a little bit forward to get it to accept onto the keyboard. Just to make sure that these parts are on and the clip should have some degree of freedom. Now you're going to place the cap on the clip. Center it and push down on the opposite corners here and the opposite corners here. You should feel it and hear that it snaps down. Now if the cup has been removed from your keyboard, we supply a spare so you can replace it. Here's a picture of showing it with the cup removed. You simply take the replacement cup, you center it where the old cup used to be, and then you place the clip. And there you go.